Hello. What's up Freedom Fam and welcome back. My name is Liberty Schultz and this is my channel. Anyway, today we got this nice little background behind us. Don't we look like a real YouTuber? Focus. Right there. Focus. Anyway, it says Q&A 2,500 subscribers. Freedom Fam. Explanation, explanation, explanation. But we're here to celebrate and to say thank you to you guys. Now, fun fact, actually my very first Q&A was at 50 subscribers, which is wild to think about. I'll put up the first video right here. It was at 50 subscribers. I was so pumped that I had 50 subscribers. Now we're at 2,500, which is just sweet, you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing and sticking with us this whole time. And as a celebration for this, we created, as you know, the saying for this channel is create your own box. Um, and create your own box is about not just thinking in outside the box and really just doing your own thing and being you because if you are outside the box that's still someone else's box so might as well just create your own box and do things different and there's a video all about that but uh, we have create your own box stickers if you check those out you can go to my Instagram at the Liberty Schultz and on there you guys can DM me your address and I'll send you one of these guys for free which is super cool so let's celebrate 2500 subscribers of the Freedom Fram so I have some questions from you guys which is super fun. I posted on my Instagram and also left a thing on YouTube. I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys left me. Let's get on into this. Very first question is from Cora Davis. Thank you for leaving a question. Cora's question is, if you could save one thing in a fire besides people or animals, what would you choose to save? I'll show you what I'll save. This is what I would save. I would save my hard drive. This has all the footage from before I was even doing YouTube pictures and everything and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it has all the vlogs from senior year on it. This is my older hard drive. This is what I would save besides people or animals. Of course, I would save my dog or anything before saving that. Swaggy Maggie 101 asked, when did you feel most like an adult? <laughs> Have you watched the Peter Pan pack? <laughs> Obviously, I do not really feel like an adult. Sometimes I'll have like moments where like I feel like an adult. Like today, me and all my friends were like texting throughout the day. We're all like working with kids over the summer. And we were like texting things like about the kids that we were with, like all this like kind of stuff. And I just think that's super weird. Like I hope we do that with our actual kids one day where we're gonna give updates. Little Timothy had a home run today, or I, I don't know. I, I Like there's little tiny moments where it's like, oh God, I'm becoming kind of an adult. But honestly, I've talked about it in like other vlogs um, where I feel like more like a training adult than an actual adult at all, even though I'm 20 years old. But I, I'm in training. I'm still wearing diapers, so. Kenley MC asked, are oranges orange because of orange, or is orange orange because of orange? Yes. Because the chemical formula of an orange and their citrus juice inside is C6H2-12O. I don't know why I started reciting the chemical equation for photosynthesis. Ignore it. I took biology this semester. John. Odesuk. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. I'm so sorry. Practice makes perfect, but nobody's perfect, so why practice? Huh. I'm gonna get profound here. Practice doesn't make perfect. Honestly, you're never gonna be perfect at whatever you practice. You're still gonna make mistakes. You're a human. That's why you practice, because nobody's actually perfect. Because you're just practicing to be the best that you can be, not to be perfect. Lindsay Burdett, if something ever happens to you, do I get to take over your YouTube channel? Kate Mayfield. Kate. 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 Kate Mayfield. What are your main dreams and aspirations? This is a loaded question, Kate. So like my like goal, I, I obviously have like career goals and softball goals and life goals and all that kind of stuff, but like my overall thing, make enough money where I can do insane things for people that are like my friends and my family and all that kind of stuff, where I can just do insane things for them. Like, hey, if there's a concert going on and my friend really wants to go and it's like her dream, boom, put her and me on a plane, we'll fly there. That's like the goal. Or like if, you know, I know someone who's like struggling with something or like, you know, they're down in the dumps. People, there's people all over who are like that. I want to just be able to do stuff for them. And yes, I can do stuff now with no money, but I'd like to do the most extreme thing possible to help people. Blue Girl asked, what made you want to play softball? 
I saw like the catcher wearing all like the pads and stuff, and I was like, that's sweet, that's awesome, I want to wear all that. And then I was like, I want to play softball. And that's why I started playing because I wanted to wear all the catcher's pads and stuff. But then like I didn't even catch for like the first couple of years, and all I wanted to do was play catcher. But no, my like coach wouldn't let me play catcher because they needed me in the field. I always wanted to play sports that had like stuff to do with like a lot of gear. Like I wanted to play lacrosse, and then I found out girls lacrosse you don't wear all that. And I wanted to play football, and I loved going to like sports stores and putting on all the football pads. It was weird. I don't know. I just really liked all the gear. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to play hockey too. I never did. Also, Blue Girl asked, "What made you want to do YouTube?" So I first wanted to start doing YouTube. I started it kind of doing like vlogs. Like my junior year, honestly, just making fun of vlogs. I don't know why, but I thought it was funny. And then my senior year rolled around. I was like, hey, I actually really like doing this one. I really like kind of filming everything and getting a chance to edit it and have like this creative release every week. But then also, I really wanted to document my senior year. So I kind of, because I knew it was going to be this really important year and everybody was going to go their different ways after this. And that's really why I started it, because I wanted to document my senior year and I started doing it on a weekly basis. Um, my senior year um, and it was just honestly to document my senior year and then I really enjoyed it and now I'm continuing to do it and I just I kind of like documenting my life and sharing it with you guys and having a way to inspire and share my life with you. Bluey Balloon asked hard or soft tacos? <sighs> I'm soft tacos all the way because think about it you can like roll it up into one thing and then just like take one bite and it's just like, mm, it like stays in there, and I don't know. I like soft tacos better. It's hard tacos, If have you ever seen iCarly? They make spaghetti tacos where they put spaghetti inside a hard taco. Spaghetti taco! If it's spaghetti tacos from iCarly. Cheyenne asked, what is your favorite thing about being at college? My favorite thing when I started college was always having a new person to meet, right? So like, I would walk anywhere and I'd meet a new person which I love meeting new people. So that was probably one of the, the positive things. Charlotte asked, what is your party trick? My party trick, I can make this weird noise where I go and it sounds really weird. So that's my party trick. I have a lot more cool tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> okay, Lily asked, what position do you play? A little story time here. So going into college, I was a catcher and middle infielder, right? And then I got to college, and now I'm an outfielder. But another fun fact is when I went into college, I was a right-handed hitter. Now, I'm a left-handed slapper. Isn't that crazy? Like, I went into college catcher, middle infielder, right-handed hitter, and now I'm a slapper and outfielder. It's crazy. So once you get to college, just be a coachable person and go wherever the coach asks you to. Be a utility player. Angel Barr and Haley asked the questions, if you didn't play softball, what would you play? Sport that I like actually love. It's called handball. It's not like super absurd, but it, like I would play that sport if I couldn't play softball. And like it was like actually, there's like actually teams. It's like soccer and basketball and like you get to throw. So it's like this huge mix. I love it. Or I would play like competitive dodgeball. <laughs> ALCL22 asked, what do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, my free times at school during my free time. So I'll usually have like eh, like an hour of free time a day. But during this time where I'm not like studying or whatever, I'll usually either just edit or like find like some other like like creative release or like something because like I'm I go crazy if I just have like ideas in my head, ideas, 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 and I can't like get them out because I will go crazy. I know some people like in their downtime they like to just like. <sighs> watch Netflix or YouTube, which I enjoy doing during the summer when I have a lot of free time. But during school, during my free time, I have to like get in time for that, that creative spark to go off or else I will go crazy. Jack Slagle asked, which would you rather battle? One horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? Personally, I'd rather battle 100 duck-sized horses because like those little guys would be coming at your ankles, but you could just like kick them away, you know? Ed Fez asked, getting ready for college softball already? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, I'm getting swole right now. Anyway, okay, yes, I have been working out for college softball. I'll show you our workouts. Here's our workouts. It's front and back, and it goes weekly. And this is what I've been doing. And then I've been, like, running and stuff. And then, like, working on my slapping. You know, insert a video of me working on my slapping. My 
we got a little work to do here. Okay, I answered your questions. Here's the thing. We're at 2,500 subscribers, right? I have a big goal, a big goal. I have a goal, but I have a, I have a goal that I wanna hit this summer. I want to get 3,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. What? That's a month. A month to get 500 subscribers? I think we can do it. Here's the thing, I need your help. One, I need you to ask for these stickers and then post about them on your story. Two, I need you guys to send this video or your favorite video on my channel to one of your friends who isn't a subscriber and tell them to subscribe. And third, what I need you guys to do, keep being awesome. <laughs> you guys are awesome. So I know that we can do this if you guys just send these videos out to your friends, get the stickers, um, and just, just talk positively and be creating your own box. People ask you, why are you so different? Because I'm creating my own box. Well, what does creating your own box mean? Tell them and then say, you know, my friend over there at Liberty Vlogs, that's what. DM me on Instagram to get your create your own box sticker. I'm super excited about these guys. Share a video with your friends who aren't subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, hey, hit that subscribe button down there. I don't know why. Thank you guys for participating in this 2,500 subscriber special. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you for getting us here. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. I got this, I got, I got a song for you. We hit 2,500 subscribers. It's a good day when you hit 2,500 subscribers, but I think we can go for more. 3,000 subscribers before the summer or any more. Thank you, you guys. Uh, create your own box. We'll see you guys next time. Let's hit 3,000. It's a good day when you hit 2,500 subscribers, but I think we can go for more. 3,000 subscribers before the summer or any more. Thank you, you guys. Uh, create your own box.